Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So we are back watching more Hunger Games and I am very intrigued to see what direction they're going to go with this movie because as we were saying in our discussion last movie, mm -hmm. It really could have worked as its own standalone film. It left a little bit more to be desired. There's definitely a lot of room for the world to be explored, yeah. but it worked as a standalone film and didn't leave anything crazy hanging other than the fact that the president of the Hunger Games or of that higher society, whatever, was upset. And I assume, you know, was not going to let yeah. this one... He's coming for blood. How? I don't know, because he obviously hates Katniss... And I guess Peter, but they can't really do, oh, I guess their names can be drawn and he can rig it. But can you go in it more than once? I don't think that was the point of the rules. Oh, yeah, true. Because um, Gail's name was in there 42 times only because he was getting food. But once you're drawn, does that mean you can't get drawn again? Well, that's what I assumed. Okay. Well, in fairness... 98% of people who get drawn probably can't get drawn again because they're dead, right? <laughs> but I would imagine winning... Yeah, what would be the point of winning if you can't get drawn again? Like, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm open to the idea that he could rig it. I mean, he does seem like a kind of guy that would make I, his own rules, but... I, uh, yeah. I mean, the whole the whole thing was rigged last time anyway. Like, yeah. What are, we, what are we talking about? Oh, you guys can go as a team and now you can't, like, just as you're about to win. Like, what yeah. is that? So I'd be open to anything. Uh, but obviously there's four movies and I imagine that you can't rig it every single movie. Like imagine just the Hunger Games yeah. every single time. So I yeah. feel like it'll expand a bit, but all there'll be different types of games. I don't know, but that'd be, imagine, imagine just keep, keep getting drawn oh every movie. Oh my God. <laughs> no, that's so sad. That'd be horrendous. That'd be horrendous. Why do you think it's called Hunger Games? Cause they even call it Hunger Games. Hmm. That is a good question. Cause you're hungry for survival. Yeah. Potentially could be that. I don't know. I feel like it works on multiple levels because there is an element of famine in the districts as well, or at least District 12 from what we saw. So, Yeah. You know. Oh, horrendous. Horrendous contrasts between the classes. The capital. Yeah, the capital and the districts. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun with this movie last time. Really enjoyed it. I think we were both talking about it afterwards for a bit as well. It just had the right blend of action, meaning cool characters suspenseful kept you on your seat like it really was a just on the edge of your seat yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it just did keep me engaged from start to finish i didn't feel like for a minute that i was zoning out or waiting for something to happen that's what i really liked about it i was really just held my attention the whole time and just had fun and i'm just looking forward to just like i was looking forward to this recording all week so yeah well the one person that i'm definitely gonna miss from last movie Oh, I'm going to tear off saying it. <laughs> it's my Rue. Yeah. But it's all right. This time we're going to clap back. We're going to clap back. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get more deaths, aren't you? Like, if we're seeing more games, that's going to be more death. So you're going to like people that aren't going to make it. Oh, fuck. Like, I don't know what delusional planet you came under, but... Yeah, but... Because the guy from her district as well died with because of those dogs, remember? Remember he saved Katniss? Really, watched the last. Hang on, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember, man. Oh, in the game, I thought you were talking about a backstory. No, no, in the game. Yeah, from Rue's district. Yeah, yeah, that sucked, man. That sucked. I really wanted to see him in action. Yeah. Well. Oh, in District Eleven went mental. Remember, mm -hmm. we don't really know their fates yet, but I imagine we're going to no. see some brutality. Well, I think your theory about. You know, Katniss's father getting blown up, like all the strong in the men in the mines. I think that was, I don't know. Look, this stuff happens, right? So I'm not saying entirely that it couldn't have happened, but I do think just the way the capital works, they're out for blood and they're out for revenge every opportunity they get. So the guy that was running the Hunger Games last time as well, I'm assuming he's dead now. Yeah. I because think he, he got given the poisonous berries. So. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll see a new guy running it. Maybe there'll be... I'm expecting it to be a different spin on the Hunger Games. Obviously, they've got to keep it fresh a bit. Yeah. So, I don't know what to expect. But obviously, it's going to somehow rope in Katniss again. 
I think, is the, is the main yeah, character. for sure. One way or another. Unless somehow they rope in her sister this time and then Katniss gets involved. I don't know how that all works. Nah, they already did that the first time. Nah. But she didn't go, so her name technically can still be picked. I ain't having it. I ain't having it. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie. All right, let's go. Let's go. Is that Katniss? Yeah, with that beautiful scenery. I know. How can you ever be the same again? Oh, whoa. She must be so paranoid. Oh my god. She's having PTSD. Oh. That scared me for a second too as well. I was like, wait, what? It's okay, you're safe. You're safe. It's okay, you're here with me. You're with me. Oh, I feel so bad for her, man. I like that they're exploring this element. So it's really realistic. Maybe I hasn't even started and I'm already gone. Gail, it was an act. Yeah, it was a good one. He's oh, jealous. I did what I had to do to survive. If I didn't, I'd be dead. <laughs> he's making sure. He's like, you're mine now. <laughs> I feel sorry for him too, you know. No one asked for any of this. It sounds like she's going back. <laughs> that is so dramatic. <laughs> you are a strangely dislikable person. <laughs> <laughs> After everything they've been through. Oh my god, already? It's coming for blood, I told you. President Snow. What an honor. My dear, I think we can make this so much simpler if we agree not to lie to each other. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> okay. I have a problem. A problem that began the moment you revealed those poison berries in the arena. If that head game maker, Seneca Crane, had had any brains at all, he would have blown you to bits then and there. Oh my god. Disgusting. And if a girl from District 12 of all places can defy the capital and walk away unharmed, what is to prevent them from doing the same? What is to prevent, say, an uprising? Oh my god. Bring it on, because I'm sick of this shit. It must be a fragile system if it can be brought down by just a few blows. Oh, I love boy. her. I love her so much. She's a pudgy. <laughs> Why don't you just kill me now? I don't want to kill you. I want us to be friends. Oh, fuck. You just lied. You just lied. You need to smile. You need to be grateful. But above all, you need to be madly prepared to end it all in love. You think you can manage that? I'll convince them. No. Convince me. So he needs to keep the lie going to butt out the rebe any rebellion. He needs the focus to be on the love so that people don't misview it as a rebellion. You know they literally mean? got her kiss on camera. Yeah. So now, he's, now she's going to break his heart again as well. Yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let's go to District 12 and find our star. You're excited. You're in love. Big smiles for the camera in three, two, one. Such a big show, isn't it? Uh -oh. <laughs> what the hell? What was that? I hope they're all right. Oh, they've really got to sell it. Thanks to the generosity of the Capitol, we've never been closer. In 25 yards, to be exact. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll be checking in with both of you throughout the victory tour. Thank you so much, Captain Timothy and Peter Lamar. Even though you know it's set up, it's still hard to watch, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm cringing it. Well, you just know that she's not really selling it then. We can't go on acting for the cameras and then just ignoring each other in real life. Yeah, damn. So if you can stop looking at me like I'm wounded, then I can quit acting like it. Damn. Respect it. See, Katniss, the way the whole friend thing works is you have to tell each other the the deep stuff. The deep stuff? Yeah. Uh-oh, like what? Like, uh, what's your favorite color? Well, now you've stepped over the line. Yeah, so deep. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it must, must be like a new district. That's interesting. Oh wow, that pin is everywhere. I wonder if it means something. No, I think it, because of her having it in the games, it's like a symbolism now. A uh, symbol for okay, yeah, yeah, rebellion, yeah. I guess. It's customary, of course, to give a brief eulogy to the district's fallen tributes. For eleven, that fresh and rue. Oh, rue! They're the ones that rebel. Then that's why it's so like tight security. Oh. This is torture. What are they doing? The families are just sitting there. That's horrendous. Go on, Peter. <gasps> you put down the gun. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to donate one month of our winnings to the families of the tributes every year Aww. for the rest of our lives. I don't know if they can do something like that, but they can do whatever they want with their winnings, can't they? Can't, but he did. Oh. oh to the cards. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They must have got a lot of winnings if they can afford that much. I see her in the flowers that grow in the meadow by my house. I hear her in a Mockingjay song. Damn, this is heavy. I see her and my sister Prim. And that poor mother has four other children. Sorry. Yeah, the president's not gonna like this. What is it? Three fingers, I think. Oh, I can't whistle. You did the whistle. <laughs> oh, man. I like this. She really is becoming a symbol. You can see it. Oh, piss off. That's disgusting. They're not even doing anything. What are they hitting him for? What are they hitting him for? Because he started the symbol. What the fuck? How do you die for doing a hand signal? There's no fucking way. Oh my god, they're trying to stamp out anything. That's disgusting, what the hell? Please just help me get through this trip. Please just help us get through this. This trip, girl, wake up. This trip doesn't end when you get back home. You never get off this train. Oh Shit. my god. Fuck, it was enough they had to survive in the games, let alone now. Yeah, life after it's just worse. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Okay. I can't believe that too well. These movies waste no time. For it is love and true love that allows us all to bear our hardships. Oh my god. And banishes loneliness and gives meaning to our lives. It's actually torture for all the districts seeing the victors. Thank you. One day, I'm gonna volunteer. Just like you. No! Did. Fuck no! That's not the message you want to be sending. Oh my god. It was just a dream, I'm sorry. It's okay. I get him too. Oh my god, man. It's been more like 20 minutes and they've managed to summarize everything. Will you stay with me? And this is when it starts becoming real for them, hey. No one yeah. else can really understand what they've been through. It's like, that's their connect emotional connection when they're on the games. But when they're off, their lives are very separate. Both victors and vanquished. In serving a common purpose. The power yep. and glory yep. of the capital. Tell them what you really think. Yeah. People want them to be real. Instead of being in love, you two sound like you're reciting from a drilling manual. Open suggestions. We could get married. There's no way. Poor Gail. Poor, poor Gail. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Peter doesn't seem too keen. Because he doesn't want it like that, you know? He wants it genuinely. A fairy tale ending for two star crossed lovers. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, Gail. Party of the year. Eyes Damn, it's so extravagant. Smiles on. I'm talking to you, Katniss. <laughs> Try one of these. 
They are divine. Oh, I can't handle that thing. Oh. Here. What's this? It's for when you're full. Well, so you can fit more in. Spartan wants some of that. Oh my god, did you hear what it is? No, you're yapping. No. It makes you sick so you can throw up and eat oh more. Oh my god. Jesus. It's all about indulgence in this uh, part of the world. The capital. This is Plutarch Heavensby, head game maker. Successor to Seneca Crane. He's the game maker. So how do you like the party? It's a little overwhelming. Appalling. He seems more normal than ever. Yeah. He even looks more normal. Which makes me think he's different. Then why are you here? Same reason as you. I volunteered. Why? Ambition. A chance to make the games mean something. I don't know yeah. if I can trust him. I don't know. He's got potential. I yeah, it's 50-50. Your love has inspired us. And I know it will go on inspiring us every day for as long as you may live. That oh, threat. Oh, this man. That is a massive threat. She's become a beacon of hope for the rebellion. And she has to be eliminated. I agree she should die, but in the right way. At the right time. No way. We need to show that she's one of us. We don't need to destroy her, just the image. Then we let the people do the rest. What do you propose? Yeah, what do you propose? She's engaged. Make everything about that. What kind of dress is she going to wear? Floggings. What's the cake going to look like? Executions. Who's going to be there? Fear. Oh my god, this guy is definitely a head game maker. What the hell? That doesn't tie into what he said before, so I'm... Don't know, something about him seems off. Like, it didn't tie into the way... He spoke before. Yeah. Oh my god. They're gonna do the executions and stuff now. Fear, fear, fear. Oh, oh shit. Go, Gail. Let's go, Gail. In the square. Oh no, what's gonna happen to him? I'm so scared now. If he dies, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch the screen. Oh my god. This is gonna screw our image up. Yeah, she's this is fitting another man. You want another? Go ahead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of my way. No, you, you don't want to shoot her. How about I shoot both of you? Just listen to time each. You recognize her? Katniss Everdeen? Darling of the Capitol. Oh yeah, this idiot. She interfered with a peacekeeper. Yeah, yeah. Tough titties, my friend. It's bad enough. That you marked up her face on the oh. evening. Let it go. Adios, my friend. Adios. Hamish can talk. Clear the square. Holy shit. Oh dude. my. Curfew. Anyone oh my god, this is Will be shot on sight. Oh my god, dude. They actually made their district lives worse than it already was. Peter, get the snow. I'll the herbs. She's matured a bit, little sister. Yeah. He needs more flame. He needs what they had in the games. Remember that? Yeah, I know. Cream or treatment or whatever it was. Look at her sister. She's really matured. Something is different. I can see it. What can you do? Help. Even without seeing all the other districts. You don't have to protect me. Or mom. We're with you. Very different from the first time we saw Prim. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of emotional just hearing that. Something about the whole, everything is happening. Her entire species has to be eliminated. Her species? species. The other victors come out because of her. They all pose a threat. The other victors? No way. 
There's a way we can still win. It's what we game makers like to call a wrinkle. A wrinkle? What the hell? What's this damn wrinkle? We celebrate the third quarter quell as a reminder that even the strongest cannot overcome the power of the capital. Nah. Nah. The male and female tributes are to be reaped from the existing pool of victors. Nah. That is disgusting. There's no fucking way. Regardless of age. <laughs> Regardless of age. So Hamish has got to go in now. No, I don't know if he's a victor. Isn't he? I thought it was a past a No, no, I don't think so. Oh like my Like the nightmare doesn't God. fucking end. Dude, that is a nightmare. There's no way. There is no way. Oh, that's a dirty move. I don't know why I'm surprised. I knew it. I knew he was coming for fucking blood. I knew it. You come to what? Ask me to die? I'm here to drink. Oh. Finally, something I can help you with. <laughs> oh, poor guy. He's going through his own pain too. If they call his name, I'll volunteer in his place. Hey, Mitch, thank you. I'm pretty sure he's a pass winner. They call my name and Peter volunteers. There's nothing I can do. So he is. I think that's why he was a mentor. True. Even she knows he's wrong. There's only one, one oh, female. Oh, that's sickening. The female tribute from District 12. Cadmus Everdeen. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. That's disgusting. Right. So that conversation with Hamish makes more sense now. Hamish Abernathy. A volunteer's tribute. I can't let you do that. I can't stop it. You can't let go. Oh, shit. This is bullshit. Well, all that remains is... Oh, everyone's doing that. Tell me that... Fire out. Yeah, what, what are they got to lose now? I get to say goodbye. Hannah! New plan. Straight to the train. No, I have to say goodbye. Hannah! No. This man's a prick. Oh, he can fuck off as well. Add him to the list. It's disgusting. They don't even get to say goodbye. There's too much, man. Holy shit, dude. How do you come back alive from this now? Last year was child's play. This year, you're dealing with all experienced killers. All right. What does that mean for us? That means you're going to have to have some allies. Okay. I think that if we... Look, you're not the prop. <laughs> Cashmere and Gloss, brother and sister, district. Oh, one. They won back in yeah. the games, capital favorites, lots of sponsors. They will be oh. lethal. Is it the guy that plays Rachel? Yeah. Looks like him. Real tech savvy. He won his games by electrocuting six tributes at once. Shit. Holy shit. Finnick O'Dare, right? Yes, he won his games at 14. Youngest ever. Extremely humble. 14? Holy shit. This is the... What is this? They've leveled up the games big time. They've actually made, managed to make it worse than the last movie. I don't know about you, but I don't remember anyone's names. No. I'm sorry you had to cancel your wedding. I know how devastating that must be for you. He knows. He knows it's all a game. Here they come. From District 12. <laughs> Our favourite. Well, or my favourite. <laughs> that guy, it's just, he's a creep. It pisses me off. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. That's sick. They're all chanting her name. Catching Fire, that's the title of the movie as well.
She's death staring snow right now. So what do you think? Now that the whole world wants to sleep with you. I don't think that the whole I world... I wasn't talking to you. Okay. You unzip? Oh, she's making a move on Peter. <laughs> she's like, you serious? <laughs> think out of the look? Fully undressing. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> All their faces. Thank you. <laughs> oh damn! He's a beast. I love this guy. He's a bit older. I love their training here. They're more Katniss's type of people. She just joined them. She's trying. A little brute force is always helpful. Look at them go. Force field. How do you know? Shimmering. Top what do you mean? Inside. Oh, there's like a, yeah. Probably my fault. I shot an arrow at them last time. <laughs> All the holograms, the lights, every now and then they flicker. Why? Yeah, he was a really small. Because the force field is taking up too much energy. There's always a flaw in the system. What's the flaw in their system? He's the flaw in their system. He's looking at her. Oh shit. Oh, those are some moves. She's gotten better. She's composed, but what will she be like when it's real people? Well, she couldn't even shoot the dummies last time, so that's an improvement. <laughs> this guy's too much, man. Is a perfect man for the job then, hey. If I was in that audience, it'd be confronting that they're all gonna be dead for my enjoyment, you know? Yeah, this audience is full of clowns. You are our family. And I don't see how anyone can love us better. Oh my god. Oh, yuck. I mean, they're playing the game, aren't they? The Court of Crow were written into law by men. Certainly it can be unwritten. Yes. Mm, they're all having a bit of bite back. This time. Yeah, true, because they all thought they earned their freedoms. The deal was that if I win the Hunger Games, I get to live the rest of my life in peace. Mm -hmm. But now, you want to kill me again. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, shit. All right, then. Fight back, girl. Respect Let's go. Her. I think we're all here a little disappointed, more than a little disappointed, that a certain wedding did not take place. Yeah, I can tell you're heartbroken. This is the gown that you would have worn on that day, yes or no? Yes, President Snow thought everyone would want to see it. Well, President Snow, as usual, was right. Surely she's throwing a spanner to work somewhere here. I'm waiting for it. Okay, he's done something for her. The flames again. What's it going to turn into, the dress? You change colour. Nice. Wow. Oh, and him is my designer. The Mockingjay. It's like the Mockingjay. Oh, wow. Wow. I wouldn't have any regrets at all. If... It... If it weren't... What's happening? He's playing the game well. If it weren't for the baby. Oh! Oh! Up roll! Let's go! Oh, that's well played! Go Peter! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Are they sort of all banding together a little bit? Oh, maybe. Oh, that guy doesn't have two arms. What are they yelling? They're just crowds not happy. 
And they've band together. Wow, there goes their, their fast. Baby bomb was a stroke of genius. Unfortunately, games are still on. Oh, piss off. Well, you both deserved so much better. Yeah. Oh, she's finally being honest. I am truly sorry. Wow, she's never been like sort of rat on the games before. And she knows it's only, you know, one of them are going to survive at the very most. Tetanus, when you're in the arena, remember who the real enemy is. Yeah, it's no the one. The enemy's not them, yeah. 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 They're, they're building towards something. Yeah. Remember, I'm still betting on you, girl on fire. Damn, man. At least you got a few supporters. Remember the last time? Ten seconds to launch. That countdown is disgusting. Oh, no way. What the fuck? Look how they've sent her in there, dude. That's disgusting. They did that on purpose. 100%. Like, you can't get away with this bullshit. Oh, my God. Is he dead? I don't know. Not yet, but he got probably soon. Oh what the God. fuck is this? And they're on water. She's not composed now. Look how she meant to think about anything. That is horrendous. Is she going to go for stuff this time? Five, I don't know. She looks pretty damn determined. Shit, you don't even know what's in that damn water. I know. I wouldn't trust it either. Alright, come on, get out of there, get out of there. She went for his leg. Good thing we're allies, right? Where did you get that? Where do you think? What the hell? Duck. <laughs> Okay, oh. Haney must have given it. Or that their girl, I can't remember her name, but Effie. she organized it, maybe. That was the only way that Katniss was going to trust him. Come on, Peter. And this guy's dived in. What the hell? That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, the gun went off. It won't be paid out. It's too early. The man is still alive. Oh, and that's their squad, so... Damn. In fairness, he's carrying the old lady. I thought he was going to leave her behind. I can respect it. I guess they're not holding hands anymore. <laughs> You think that's funny? Every time that cannon goes off, it's music to my ears. I yeah, because he's I get not it. dead. So can we trust him till the end? Probably not. Oh, who knows? He might surprise us. I don't know. But it is the right attitude to have for him as well. Like, that's how he survived. <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. Oh, oh she sets the edge of the games. Ooh, okay. Oh, she was ready to... She was ready to kill him. <laughs> oh, I get it, I get it. Kind of ready. No, not kind of ready. Is this guy crazy, man? Holy shit. Come on, he's gonna wake up. I know it, I know it. Come on. Yes. Let's go, Peter. Oh. Not your time yet. Be careful. There's a force field up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks, love. Oh, she can see it. 
Yeah, the sky's artificial too. The whole thing is like a massive dome. Makes sense. Cool. We should set up camp. Take turns sleeping. I can take first watch. Not a chance. <laughs> she still doesn't trust him. Honey. I get it. That thing I did back there for Peter, I was called saving his life. If I wanted to kill either of you, I would have done it by now. <laughs> yeah. I love his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. <laughs> All the fallen. Jeez, a lot of fallen already. So less emphasis on the deaths this time. Like a lot of them happened. Uh, getting more to the main event. What is it? It's from Hamish. Did you put it in the tray? Yeah, I was about to say. I think it's a spile. A what? I'm actually proud that I knew that. It means I survive on games. <laughs> yeah. Or if we're in the games, you'd rather be alone or with me? Always with you. So they don't doubt my survivability. I guess I'm from there. There you go. He does care for her. Yeah. What a sad game, you know? He's caring for her knowing that she's probably going to die at some point. What does that even what mean? What the hell now? Just some bullshit. Let them sleep. I count to 12. Midnight. For the number of districts. So what does that mean then? They're doing weather shit now. What the hell? What the hell is that? It's going to be another weather effect. It's either really cold or like poison or something. Oh my Who? god. Run! Run! The fog is oh open. my Oh my god. This game's actually worse than the last, even in design. It's disgusting. At least the other game maker, you know, I don't know, he seemed more fair than this is one. Is this game maker Modi from Harry Potter? Along with the eye patch? I have no idea. Stop it. Get some help. It looks like him. I just thought about that now. No, not an ankle now. Oh man, he got more. Oh. That's disgusting, dude. It's like cysts. Come on, shit. get up, Peter. You didn't come back to life with this shit. And the other guy's still running with granny on his back? Oh damn. No. He won't, he, he wouldn't let her back down. We have to go. What is she doing? Max. Oh my God. Max. Why? Max. Why? Because he, because Peter didn't need someone to carry him. We have to go. Right. Come on. Oh my God. And isn't it funny? Katniss judged him that he would leave her first chance and really she left him to save everyone. Can they just stop with the poison? Oh. What What's the hell? That? Did they cross some kind of border? You know she said there was 12? I always thought there was like 12 sections or something. <laughs> oh, it like takes the poison off. Everyone pop in. <laughs> it's kind of funny, I get it. She's weird. She's an agonizing pain. Oh, oh no. The way she's like crawling around. Yeah. She was never gonna make it. So. He doesn't let himself feel emotion. Who's there? One of those baboons. Damn, dude, no time to chill. 
Nah, give him a break, man. Dita. Yeah. Walk over here slowly. Very slowly. Or just run. Peter doesn't even notice yet. He. <laughs> oh come on! Holy shit, dude! What a standoff. Oh, with the bow. Yes! Yes! Come on! We've got to make it. Oh, shit. Can't breathe for like one second. Oh, the camouflage! Why did she jump out to save? Why did she come out? Yeah. What, they stop right there? Look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? All those colors. Don't worry about anything else. Poor girl, man. Damn, she's just there alone waiting to die. It's disgusting game, dude. Interesting, they like can't come past that point. There is something sectional going on here. Where each section is a threat, but they can't go beyond that section. She sacrificed herself for me and I don't even know her name. You think she sacrificed herself? <gasps> Look like it. Do you think people are gonna be sacrificing themselves for these two? For the hope? Oh, you reckon? Yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. Because so I was like, why would she jump out? Yeah. And why is Finnick so much on their team? Like, all these things. Not a moment's rest, man. Oh, shit. See, look at that. Oh, see how it's all divided into like a... Yeah. <gasps> it's the smart ones. Yeah. I guess we have more allies. Peter sees it that way, but I think she sees it as like, don't know if we can trust them. I thought it was water. It turned out to be blood. What the hell? Hot. Thick blood it was coming down. Blood rain, what the hell? What's happening to her? Stop it! Hey, She's saying something important, surely. What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. I got them out for you! For you? What did she say? I got the waffle? I got them out. I got them out for you. Yeah, they are. There is something going on here. What's with the lightning? That must symbolize that a new disaster's happened to come. That is, is when each one's come, hasn't it? Oh, no. It's clock. Oh my god. It's yeah. Why was your genius? I was thinking she had some sort of clue. Okay. Oh, so this is a clock. Every oh. hour that maybe there's a disaster. Right. Okay. Oh, and in that section. <gasps> yes. It all starts with the lightning. Then the blood rain, fog, monkeys. That's the first four hours. At 10, that big wave hits from over there. Wyrus, oh, you're a genius. Absolute genius. What the hell? Where did oh, he come from? Oh, shit. Did you notice that she pushed Katniss away? They're trying to defend them as well. Katniss, yeah. Katniss. I don't know. And he's holding Peter back. They keep trying to defend them. Change it up, spin it. Oh, so now that they figured out the clock, now they won't know what time it is. Oh my god, of course. Oh my god. Disgusting. Oh. 
Yeah, everyone, you're, you're nailed, man. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, now it's enough. Interesting. He stopped her when Katniss fell in. Katniss fell in, so he didn't want to kill her that way. No. So no. it's his voice. Oh my god, they lured her in. His voices. In the birds. Wow. Oh my god. It's just a Jabberjay, it's not her. How do you think they got that sound? Jabberjay's copy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's like torturing them. That's sickening tactics. Holy crap. How are they finding more and more ways to be fucking ruthless? And not only they split them up, now they got them off the beach so they can't just dodge easily. It's too much. Stop, stop, stop. It's okay. It's okay. They're just mutts. It's not real. Oh my god! They've blocked There's off a the barrier. section. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! The hour's gone. The hour's up. It's all right. That scene friggin' hit. Okay. It's okay. Can you imagine hearing that for the whole fucking hour? Here's what I propose: we leave the beach at dusk. We head to the lightning tree. That should draw them back to the beach. Prior to midnight. We then run this wire from the tree to the water. Oh. Anyone in the water on the damp sand will be electrocuted. Oh, damn. That's brutal, man. You wouldn't want this guy in your games. You think you're safe and then boom. So what can we do to help? Keep me alive for the next six hours? Oh, please, please longer than that. that. He's watching. Is he going to try to screw with it? Damn, man. I really like this crew. I'm spewing if they all die. Once the careers are dead, we both know what happens next. I don't want to be the one that shoots first. What if they don't either? What if all of us refuse to shoot first? We might still end up dead. Yeah. It's not like before. We should stick with these guys till midnight and... and if we hear a cannon, we go. Damn, Shit. man. Why we gotta think like that now? I don't know what kind of deals you made with Hamish, but he made me promises too. Yeah, what's in that pendant? Oh, dude, there's no way he did that. For them. Hamish is right. He's he's too good for just everyone. This man's next level. What about you? Nobody needs me. We need you. I need you. Damn. I like Peter. I didn't think I care much for him, but I like him. He's done a good job. Now I'm just like torn between him and Gail. Surely, man, if... Oh, dude. Surely they both live. One of them fucking dies, man. I don't know. They're building it up too much for them both to just get a good outcome again. This is what you predicted. Moves and counter moves. Indeed. Now, Hamish's words get know who the real enemy is. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable. Now, nah, these two are about to get played. I know it. I can feel it. I trust in this guy's abilities to fuck up the whole system, honestly. Take this. Unspool it carefully. Make sure the entire coil is in the water, you understand? Then head to the tree at the two o'clock sector. We'll meet you there. I'm gonna go with him as a guard. No, 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 no. You're staying here to protect me. Oh, their plan isn't working. You all agreed to keep me alive till midnight, correct? It's his plan. We all agreed to it. Is there a problem here? Oh, there's a little bit of... Shadiness. I feel like they all have an unsaid arrangement and then... Yeah, I, I agree. To be fair, I'd want Katniss there to protect me, not Peter. <laughs> I want to put as much distance between me and this beach as possible. 
Trying is not how I want to go. No way. Oh, this guy. No way. It's to protect her. Stay down. She cut her wrist. She cut the tracker. No, it was just for the blood. Oh. So, wow, they're really risking everything for her. <gasps> Tell me that was Peter again. Oh. No way. God, where are you? No, don't kill. No, no. Not. They want to break her as a symbol. Remember who the real enemy is. Yes. Yeah, they've been saying that. Hamish said that. Yeah, so he set something up. So Hamish has spoken to, obviously, because he's got the bangle. Oh no, the lightning. They have to get away from here. Because the coils are going to conduct it. All. No way! She's gonna throw it up there. No, you can't. She can't throw it to the roof. Oh, oh she can bow and arrow it. Travis, get away from that tree. Oh, he he realized what's about to happen. Holy shit! <laughs> it's not possible. Bam, it's didn't possible. Think that. It's possible. Yeah, the other guy mysteriously disappeared. Mm. I always thought something was off about him. We've lost power. And he did say we would meet again to Katniss. What's happening? Oh shit! It's literally crumbling. She fried it. I hope that symbolizes the rest of the games, you know? What she's done to the whole system. What about Peter? We never saw. Peter, Finney. A few of them. Joanna. Oh, they He's alive! Him. Oh! Yeah, she's thinking who the hell's piloting this ship. Do you reckon it's the game maker? Maybe, he disappeared, so... She's gonna lose it when she finds out about the boy. Hey, Mitch! They didn't rescue Peter. What is happening? against the capital. See, this is why no one lets you make the plans. Yeah. They had a plan this whole time? Shit. You have been our mission from the beginning. The plan was always to get you out. Have Where is Peter? Red on it. This is the revolution. Holy shit. Where's Peter? Surely he's not he dead. He has his tracker in his arm. Joanna cut yours out. I was right. They got him and Joanna. Oh, oh no. Son of a bitch. You promised me that you would take them over me. You promised me. How do they have it? What are the what are they doing to him? Shit, dude. Please don't kill him, please. You're okay. You've just been asleep for a few days. Really? A few days. There is no home, I think. They already destroyed it. I sent in hovercrafts. And they started dropping firebombs. Oh my god. That's disgusting. There is no District 12. Oh my god, dude. Gone. Like what happened to 13.
Oh, she didn't want to fight. She'll be fighting now. She's angry, man. She's so angry. That is a sick. Oh, the symbols like wow. evolved. She spread her wings. Wow. That's it. God damn, <laughs> dude. What the hell? That was another freaking amazing movie. Holy shit. I, I didn't know how they could reinvent the wheel, really. It took everything I loved from the first movie and just stepped it up in every possible way. Like, it actually is the first movie improved in every way. Mm -hmm. Wow. The premise, the ideas were fantastic. The way they stayed true to the core of the Hunger Games and yet reinvented the wheel a little bit. Yeah. Wow, I really enjoyed that from start to finish. I was mesmerized. I don't, I don't even, I didn't even notice time go by to be honest. I just feel the heaviness of the world, and you know, I'm invested in the stakes. Now let's back up. This game maker. Yeah. He stopped. I want to go back and listen to their conversation, like between yeah, um, Katniss and himself. It just that conversation stuck with me because he did say we'll meet again. Yeah. And so he knew that she was going to be alive. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, they were hoping that she'd be alive. That's yeah. allies. And the way he stopped the spinning wheel, as soon as she fell in the water, he's like enough. There were little subtleties there that were, that were catching me off, you know, off a little bit, even though he was. So he kind of saved his own skin by doing just enough. Well, I think he had to be in the role he was in to get her out. Didn't yeah. he? Yeah. So he had to at least keep appearances for a certain while. Because he's, I can't remember word for word what he said, but when he first spoke to Katniss, he said a few things that made it seem like he didn't fully agree with the game. So that's why then when he be yeah, then when he started going full send, I was like, what? But I kept that kept ringing my mind. I was a bit confused. And then when he walked off at the end, I was like, mm, okay, I didn't think much of it. But then later, the president Snow was calling him, and he was nowhere to be found. I'm like, hmm. And yeah. it conveniently happened when the arrow was shot yeah. to the sky. I was like, hmm. So everyone knew, but well, maybe not everyone, maybe a handful of victors knew because then other others were just killing each other off. Yeah, they said about half. Yeah. So they obviously got some allies, some district that were behind the cause. If only Captains knew, you don't have nothing to fear this whole time. Yeah. But they couldn't tell her because... Well, Cause she Snow, can't act, firstly. That too. But also Snow, they said Snow was watching her at every yeah. every corner. Yeah. And they had obviously had mics on them in the game, so they couldn't tell them in the games either. Yeah. But that was very smart. I don't know if Effie was in on it, but her making those tokens, you know, giving it to Hamish and saying, you know, we are a team, and then giving that to Finnick. Yeah. It was very smart because that was the only thing that was going to make Katniss trust him. And then, obviously, in that moment of doubt, it's like, remember who the real enemy is. His exact line. So, I think they all had to... They were all acting. You know, they are all giving Katniss grief. They knew they were being watched. And so, they were all, like, before the games. So, that's why they were all, like, giving smart asses to her or a bit of grief. Mm -hmm. They were keeping up the act, you know? Yeah, potentially. I think so. Because if they were all in on this plan... They, they did nothing but defend her when they in person, but before then, a lot of them were giving her grief. Like like the ones that ended up teaming up with yeah. her. Yeah. Holy shit. But this is bad news. Peter and... Joanna. Joanna are in the capital. Now, if they're happy to burn down entire districts for disobeying, what are they copying? I have no idea. That's just... Got... And, and um, is it Cena? Yeah, I was thinking, I couldn't remember. Something like... But yeah, he got screwed over, man. I don't know if he's dead or alive, but... He I got... hope he's alive, man, because that's disgusting. The way they did that as well, like... She's literally about to go in, fight for survival, and that's when you decide to kill him. Wow. Yeah, it's sickening. The way they... are. Oh, Snow made every attempt to just make it horrific. Horrific. Wow, but it was very... Yeah, intense from start to finish. I didn't miss a beat, even by reinventing the Hunger Games and the creativity in, in how they just changed up the game, yeah. the environment. But I could tell too, it makes sense now in hindsight, because I could tell the pacing of the games, look, they did emphasize it, but there was less focus on the little kills 
and more on figuring out the games itself. And I was like, yeah. mm, this is different. Yeah. That's why, I don't know, like, I just, I felt like when you really pay attention, it's sprinkled throughout. So you've got these two really smart people that, you know, then there's lightning. And then, you know, even at the start, they were talking about the dome and, like, they could see the... I don't know. What is it called? The force fields. Yeah, the force fields. They could see that like before they even got into the game. So just all that foreshadowing, I was like, that has... And then when you can see that literally the blockades of the force field, uh, yeah, I just knew something was up. Okay, so that makes sense why the next two are called Mockingjay Part 1 and Part 2. Oh, are they? So they're doing a bit of... uh, Part 1 and Part 2 is like the Harry Potter did that and obviously Avengers done that. So that's sort of like... It's almost like one extended movie of like this final, uh, I'm guessing, revolt yeah. that they're going to do against the capital. And it's called Mockingjay. So she's become the Mockingjay now. You know what was interesting when... I reckon maybe... I think his name is Cena. Oh no! Um, God! Yeah, Cena Crane. No! God, please, I think, no! Remember the bride dress, the bridal dress, the wedding dress? Obviously, that turned into the Mockingjay. Her, the wings were like spread out, and yeah. then that was the same right at the end there. The symbol, like the wings were spread out. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense to me. If his names are, I'm bad with the names, but if his name's Cena Crane, why did she write that on the body that she then hung up? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not too sure, but do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. I thought about that as well um, when we saw the symbol change at the end. Yeah. Yeah, what what is the significance of that? So, yeah, there are a few bits and pieces in this that. I don't know. If, me. if we're meant to know, can you guys please explain that in the comments? Because I feel like that's an important part. But would well, you want to look up Cena Crane on your phone quickly? Just make sure that the face matches the name. It is. It is him. Definitely. Yeah. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my god! Yeah, that was brutal. The way they just ambushed him right as she's going up to. After that real nice heartfelt goodbye, like, I reckon he was in on the plan too. That's what I'm saying. Because of that dress, like, just the way I, yeah, I think everything put together, I feel like he was part of the plan, but unfortunately. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know, because the other, we don't know yet, but we didn't see the the woman who's, like, part of their team. I can't remember her name. Effie. Is that her name? Yeah. It's too many damn names, but <laughs> she wasn't seen in the plane at the end there, but maybe, I don't know if she's in on it. She's obviously from the capital, so. Yeah. I'm not too sure. And I'm not sure if we got it right. If the game maker is just one of many game makers or if he's the original. I don't feel like he's the original because he's been around for 74 years. And it's that guy, 75 years. Yeah. So. Uh, he he been... mentioned it though. Didn't he say he was the original? Or he's the biggest one, or I don't know. Yeah, you guys clarify that one as well. Yeah, you guys clarify that. I just noticed, like, throughout the movie, everyone was protecting Patton specifically, and then Peter as well. You noticed the first, yeah. Yeah, I just... I don't know, because when you contrast it from the other one, like the first Hunger Games, no one was looking out for each other like that. They were yeah. all looking out for their own backs. They weren't... Even with Kato, you know, and his group, everyone was just still looking out for themselves and it didn't really, it didn't really matter as long as they survived. Whereas this was like a completely different vibe and I picked up on it. Yeah, pretty quickly. quickly, Yeah, because we were like stunned. Like, why did she come out of the tree? She was camouflaged. She was safe. Yeah. But then Peter had mentioned something. You're like, we want, like, we're trying to save her. And then we saw a couple other things. Does that mean, do you reckon she was tracking them that whole time? No, I reckon... That she was just staying alive, but with the then, alliance. And yeah. then when they saw, when she saw Peter almost getting killed, mm. she jumped in. Fuck, Vinnie had to trust in that that um, bangle so much because at the start they were literally head to head, about to kill each other. Yeah. God damn. And now you know what's interesting. Now I don't know if they're gonna do it this way, but now that Gail is with. Her mm. wait, was that a dream? No, that actually no, that happened. was real. That I thought it was, initially. yeah, yeah. I just couldn't remember because when you said it, yeah, now that Gail's with her, what if she now gets a movie to be with Gail? Because we've seen her with Peter twice and he's been out of action. What if now part of the uprising 
her and Gail are, we get to see that side and then, mm. I don't know, she's got to pick one or something. There's a bit of a laugh yeah. happening on the side too. Yes, but I also think, especially this time around, there's some real feelings there for Peter. For sure, I agree. So I think There were real hard. feelings there the first time too. I yeah. think it was just what this show did a really good job of, of showing is it was almost like a nightmare that you didn't want to revisit. So what they went through, because as soon as they got to the Hunt Games again, they were like back to the version of themselves that we mm. saw last movie. Mm-hmm. But it's like when you came back, you just wanted to move on and block that out. So that also meant sort of blocking out their feelings and memories of what happened, yeah. which would have been hard for Peter to take in. But I get Katniss's point of view. Because as soon as they came back in, they were all back to square one. I'm like, oh, you guys are back, back in again. It was kind of empowering this time around because obviously the first time, it's it was all their first time going into the games. And everyone's just like being told what to do. They, you know, have to, they know they have to perform and whatever. Whereas this time around, because they're veterans, essentially, they've done it all before. They know how it works. There's nothing really surprising, even when they try to make it surprising. And even like those interviews at the start on that television show, they were all like finding reasons to just bite back a little bit. And yeah, yeah, they were that in hindsight they were alluded to it a fair bit actually. I also like what the hell they said Katniss was pregnant and then that's it. Like they didn't really revisit yeah, that. Yeah, well, I guess that was maybe them creating a little dent because that doesn't shut down the show. Yeah. So it's creating a little dent, but it wasn't big enough. But like the rest of the capital, are you, you seriously, you're allowing like a pregnant woman to go into the games and potentially well, it might, die. It might come back. I don't know, but they might visit more of it. Mm. So we know that both Katniss's sister and mother are safe. Yeah. District 12 has been annihilated apparently, but they did mention heading to District 13. So maybe that's going to be the base of operations for this. Yes. For this uprising. That's what I was just about to say. And oh, that's perfect. Yeah, and they wouldn't expect it because it's been wiped out. They wouldn't expect anyone to be there. Yeah. But obviously not everyone could be safe. So I wonder if what the only way for this to happen is the district have to unite. Because one yeah. district's not enough. So I guess a lot of the other districts will but suddenly were be Were the heading. districts ever really against each other? Mm, maybe not. But I that, guess when that, it came they were the divided game. and alienated on purpose yeah. to, to keep them weak. Yeah. Whereas now, you know, together they got a lot more chance Dude, this movie has fit in so much i'm just thinking back remember at the start when they were doing the speeches yeah and, wow you're right and people just got shot dead on site the pacing is really well i think what i'm loving about these movies a lot is they waste no time to get into the story nah. i was and, crying in the first five minutes yeah and they do such a good job of it not feeling rushed and yet in the first 20 30 minutes they pretty much summarize in the first movie's case, the entire history. In this movie's case, almost like the last year. And you already feel connected to all the turmoil, the PTSD, yeah. the relationship. Like, they do it all really well. And then, all right, now here's a scenario. And then you've still got time for your games while you've got a story building. Like, it's actually... They are written brilliantly. A lot of movies of this nature usually finish and I'm like, mm, you need another, another half an hour to an hour. Like, it just felt like they skimmed over it. Being completely honest, even some of the Harry Potter movies felt like that to me. I just felt like, damn, like, enjoyed it, but it suffered from time restraints, could have had more in it and flushed yeah. out. Whereas, so far, these don't feel like that at all to me. They feel like they're actually, there's nothing more that I think could be done. They're actually flushing the story out, yeah, covering all angles, and the pacing flows really nicely. And So the first movie we said that could be a standalone movie, and although it leaves a lot to be desired, you feel kind of content. This one, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to the next one right away. Yeah, this one, you're like, holy shit. Like, I didn't expect it to end that abruptly. No. The way it just ended, I'm like, oh shit, like, that's where we're leaving it. Yeah. Imagine watching that in cinema and then having to wait. You'd be, you'd be like, oh. Oh, I reckon everyone was like, what the fuck? Like, when it, when the life came on. <laughs> I don't know how they managed. When I was putting the movie up, this one came out in 2013. Previous one, 2012. Like, how do you manage to do them a year apart? There's obviously... That's what they used to do. That's how it used to be. Not like... but, but these look good and there's a lot of there's a lot of CGI. They've created entire worlds and stuff. Like, in a year, they're able to do it. That's crazy. Because by the time it came out, you've then got to act, you know, edit, do all of that stuff, produce I reckon it. they had a small hiatus and they went straight back into filming. I, I don't know, but... Damn it. It makes me miss that period in movies because, honestly, like, 
<laughs> CGI's gotten better, but what, so much better that you've got to wait four years for the next movie. Oh, no. Like, it's ridiculous now. Oh, no. Whereas this is... Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I was just surprised by that. Yeah. I... I'm loving this world. Like, I don't love, obviously, the outcome of the world, but... The, I, like, I'm really connected to it. I really feel the stakes. I really feel the pain and the turmoil and, you know, Katniss with her PTSD. Like, I really felt that. And It's a very gripping scenario and, and situation that they've created here. It is, isn't it? It's a very unique way to present a lot of themes and parallels of our real world into the movie and present it in such an, you know, you just, yeah, you can't help but relate to it so much as you go along. And it's, yeah, very well done, very well produced. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this movie. Leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe for more and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie and whether that ending shocked you as much as it shocked us for the first time. And if you do want to get early access to our edited or uncut reactions, then we'll leave a link to our Patreon in the description down below. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on one of our next reactions. See you guys.